Welcome to the Holy Land and this biblical site of the house of Caiaphas. This is the place where Christ appeared first after he was arrested in the Garden of Gethsemane. And this is the place where Peter denied Christ three times. This is the courtyard here area that they've set aside. And so you can see in the background there, you can see a, a statue and what they have there of uh, Peter denying Christ. Uh, we're located just south of the uh, old city. In fact, uh, behind me, you can see the southern stairs and you can see the uh, Dome of the Rock is where the temple, uh, the original temple used to be. So right here in this spot is where it was the house of Caiaphas, where Christ uh, appeared first after he was arrested in the Garden of Gethsemane and where Peter denied Christ three times. And then just right uh, behind me is the, is the path, the original rock path, uh, where Christ, it's believed that Christ then walked up to meet at the, uh, the uh, Pilate's palace and to go up to be tried up with other officials, Herod and, and so forth. So let's look at this from scripture. It's a beautiful story. It's a sad story as, as well. But let's look at it and see uh, what God has for us here in this, um, in this place here. So Jesus appeared here uh, before Caiaphas, the high priest, just after being arrested in the Garden of Gethsemane. The Garden of Gethsemane is just down below us. So it would be to my left, to your right, just at the bottom of the hill. He's arrested in the Garden of Gethsemane. He's brought up here first before Caiaphas. So let's look at it. Matthew 27, or pardon me, Matthew 26, 57 says, Then those who had seized Jesus led him to Caiaphas, the high priest, where the scribes and the elders had gathered. And Peter was following him at a distance, as far as the courtyard of the high priest. And going inside, he sat with the guards to see the end. So we know that all the rest of the disciples fled when Jesus was arrested. Peter promised he would not deny Christ, so he was following Christ at a distance. So they come to this area right here, and it says in verse 59, Now the chief priests and the whole council were seeking false testimony against Jesus that they might put him to death. But they found none, though many false witnesses came forward. At last two came forward and said, This man said, I am able to destroy the temple of God and to rebuild it in three days. And the high priest stood up and said, Have you no answer to make to Jesus? What is this that these men testify against you? But Jesus remained silent. And the high priest said, I adjure you by the living God, tell us if you are the Christ, the Son of God. Jesus said to him, You have said so. But I tell you, from now on you will see the Son of Man seated at the right hand of the power and coming on the clouds of heaven. Then the high priest tore his robes and said, He has uttered blasphemy. What further witness, witnesses do we need? You have now heard his blasphemy. What is your judgment? They answered, He deserves death. Then, this, then they spit on his face and struck him. So this takes place right here at the house of Caiaphas. And some slapped him, saying, Prophesy us to us, you Christ. What, who is it that struck you? So right here is where Christ's suffering begins. And from the Garden of Gethsemane, when the time he's arrested, to his death on the cross is approximately about 18 to 20 hours. And it's believed that down here below in the house of Caiaphas is a cistern that was also used to keep prisoners. So it's, it's believed that when Christ uh, was arrested here, it was probably 9 or 10 at night. Then he was tried before here. He was beaten. He was uh, tortured here, beaten by the soldiers, beaten, or not beaten by the soldiers yet, beaten by uh, the, uh, the Jewish officials, and then kept in this dungeon all night and then he would appear before Pilate and the Roman officials then in the morning probably starting at 7 or 8. So he spent the night here, as believed, in this uh, dungeon that you can see here. So. Well, here we are down in the dungeon by Caiaphas' house, and it's believed that right here is where Christ spent a good portion of the night because he appeared, he was arrested in the Garden of Gethsemane, then he comes before Caiaphas, uh, he's beaten, he's tortured, he's condemned to death, but the next morning he doesn't appear uh, before Pilate until around probably 8 in the morning. So this is where it's uh, believed that he spent a good portion of the night after he had been beaten and uh, buffeted. Uh, he was severely tortured. So this is the, the believed place where he spent this dungeon uh, by Caiaphas' house where he spent the uh, rest of the evening until the next morning. Unbelievable. I, I can't believe that, that I could be in the very spot where, where Christ spent the night bleeding and in torture, um, it's silvery. Uh, anyway, this is where Christ uh, 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 suffering then begins. He meets here before uh, Caiaphas and then Ananias. Ananias was Caiaphas's uh, father-in-law. So, 
And Luke 22, 63 says, Now the men who were holding Jesus in custody, right here, were mocking him as they beat him. And they also blindfolded him and kept asking him, Prophesy, who is it that struck you? And they said many other things against him, blaspheming here. So once again, Christ's torture begins here. Uh, maybe all through the night uh, he tortures here. So during this time at the house of Caiaphas, right here, is where Peter denies Christ three times, right here in this courtyard. Um, and Peter had emphatically stated that he would not fall away from Christ. So let's look at that. It says in Mark 14, 27, uh, it says, Jesus said to them, this was when they're still in the Garden of Gethsemane, you will fall away, for it is written, I will strike the shepherd and the sheep will be scattered. But after uh, I am raised up, I will go before you to Galilee. Peter said to him, even though they all fall away, I will not. And Jesus said to him, truly I tell you, this very night, before the rooster crows twice, you will deny me three times. But Peter said emphatically, I'm, if I must die with you, I will not deny you. And they all said the same. So there was these commitments, these promises made that, that we will even die for you. Peter says, I will even die for you. If it costs me my life, I will not fall away from you, Christ. I will not deny you. So that's the backdrop and the setting. So. However, we see the event of Peter's uh, denial right here. And there's a lot of people that visit this place. It's a very popular place here. And I should mention that this is uh, built many years after. Uh, and so the original house of Caiaphas is down below. This is not the original uh, courtyard. This is a building that was built on top of the original place as a monument, according to tradition, to preserve the place, the house of Caiaphas, where all these things took place. So all over Jerusalem, all over Israel, a lot of times there are churches built on, on these holy sites to preserve them and sometimes they're modern uh, as they rebuild after the old ones wear out they just keep re rebuilding. So this is a newer facility but it is built on top of the house, the original house of Caiaphas and you can see the original cistern where Jesus was uh, believed to have passed, uh, stayed the night and so this is not the original courtyard. We're up above it but this is the area set aside to commemorate that. So. In Matthew 26, 69, it says, Now Peter was sitting outside in the courtyard. That's right where we're filming this. And a servant girl came to him and said, You also were with Jesus the Galilean. But he denied it before them all, saying, I do not know what you mean. And when he went out uh, to the entrance, another servant girl saw him. And she said to the bystanders, This man was with Jesus of Nazareth. And again he denied it with an oath. I do not know what you mean. And after a little while, the bystanders came and said to Peter, Certainly you too are one of them, for your accent betrays you. Then he began to invoke a curse on himself and to swear, I do not know the man. And immediately the rooster crowed. And Peter remembered the saying of Jesus before the rooster crows, you will deny me three times. And he went out and wept bitterly. So Peter remembered it. This was their, their, their last real physical eye contact and, and, and maybe with Christ. Maybe Christ was not here close, but uh, anyway, this was the last time and, and, and Peter denied Christ after he said, I will die for you. And so he went out and wept bitterly. So, what are some things that I could ask myself as I think about this story and what happened right here? Uh, well, one, uh, do I deny sometimes uh, uh, Christ? Do, do I den deny His words, uh, the truth of the gospel in any way? There's many ways we can really deny Christ. It might not be an outright uh, verbal, I deny Him, but we can deny Him sometimes by our actions, failing to speak out for Him, uh, failing to be bold for Him, and speaking the truth and love appropriately. Uh, we can uh, deny him by not spending time with him, by not having a quiet time with him, by not reading his word, by not sharing him with others. There's many ways that we can actually deny Christ. Uh, it might not be, like I say, a, a strong verbal uh, outright denial, but there's many subtle ways in which we might be denying Christ on a regular basis. And uh, so hopefully uh, we will recognize that and, and some things for us to, to contemplate and consider. Is there any way that I am denying 
denying Christ, uh, like maybe Peter did, only in a smaller, subtle way. So anyway, uh, this right here is the uh, the place set aside, built over the original house of Caiaphas, the high priest. Uh, below here would have been the courtyard, and so right in this area right here is where Peter, or where Christ first began his uh, suffering as he went to the cross, spent the night here, uh, was under underwent severe torture here. Um, so his body was tremendously beaten here, uh, spent a night here in a cold, dark dungeon probably after he had been beaten many times in the place where Peter denies Christ. So it all happened right here. So some things to think about. Uh, thank you for watching this video. We hope you've enjoyed it and God bless you.